Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis episode 21, the screencast where I burn the roof of my mouth with coffee and mumble my way through teaching Python basics. I'm Ryan Shea and in this episode we'll be talking about sets. So we've talked about lists, we've talked about tuples, there's another type called sets. A set is an unordered list of items, kind of like a list, except not indexed based off of a number, and every item in there is guaranteed to be unique. Let me show you an example. So let's create a list called basket, and in there we have an apple, an orange, another apple, an orange, and a banana, and let's say a, a pear. Okay, and you can see that there's some items that are that are repeated. But let's say we wanted a distinct list of the fruits that are within that basket. All we have to do is say fruit. So you use the set notation, open paren, specify your sequence, and close paren. And if I look at the type, it is a type set. Printing it out, you see that we have set, open paren, square brace, and then our list-like uh, unordered list that comes back. Apple, banana, orange, pear. Those are all the types that are within uh, within the fruit. If, if we say uh, orange in fruit, just conditionally look to see if it's a member of that list. We see true. And if I said egg in fruit, false. You can create a set using other sequence types too, like a string. A equals set abracadabra. You see it broke those out into each individual letter, and we see it it shuffled up the order for us. There's there's no guarantee of how those those orders are coming back. And let's create another set. B equals set Alexam. Now, here's the really cool thing that you can do with sets. You can compare lists. In Perl, I always used a module called list compare to do this, but in Python, it's built right in. Let's take a look. Uh, here's everything that's in set A, and if I wanted to see everything that's in set A but not in set B, all I have to do is A minus B. Built right in, and I get a set back. Let's say I wanted to see the letters that are either in A or B, A or B. And now I see that superset of all the letters in both. Let's say I wanted to see sort of the overlap, A and B, what letters are in A and B. And I see A and C are in both. And let's say I wanted to see the letters that are in A or B, but aren't in both, A caret b. There you go. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org. 